Look, can we just get through this, please? It's only an hour for me. Fine. Let's just get it over with. Okay. Great. Here comes the rain. Let's try something else. Did you two do the homework I asked you to do last week? Are you asking me or you're asking him? I'm asking both of you. It's not terribly important who answers first. Did you get a chance to do the homework I asked you to do last week, listing your individual expectations in the marriage? Doc, I don't mean to interrupt here, but we've got bigger problems than just doing our homework. Okay, well, let's start with that. What have you two been dealing with this week? Do you mind? Oh, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's not like it's going to change anything. See, that is what I'm talking about. She is always Brent, doing... It won't help things if you attack or accuse. Just share with me what's going on. All right. Plain and simple, she's a prude. She never wants to have sex with me. That is so not true. Never. Lauren, Lauren, I, no, please, I'm... Lauren, let him finish. I'll ask you your side in just a minute, okay? Go ahead. Okay, it's like this. When God was handing out libidos, he was like, libido, libido, nah, libido. I have a libido. I have a perfectly Lauren, good Lauren, please, libido. Please. Okay, you know what, Doc? I'll just sit here while he repeatedly jabs me in the eye. Okay, Brent. Share your side without all the insults. Okay, it is a rare occasion that I get to have sex with my wife. I can count on one hand the number of times in the last three months that we had sex and still have a thumb left. Can I just interject here? Yes, go ahead, Lauren. Okay, in my defense, he's like a dog in heat. <laughs> come on, a dog in heat, really? Doc, come on, it's, you can't no, let her- Okay, okay. Lauren. Please explain your side with that, the name calling. He has been in his prime since his mid thirties. And I mean, I try to keep up with him, but I'm not a machine. Okay, I can't even go to the mall and hold his hand. I, I can't even sit next to him on the couch. Oh, come on. That's let not, me that's finish, not... friends. Please let her finish. I can't even get dressed around him. I can't even hug my husband or kiss my husband without him expecting or hoping for sex from me. I mean, it is just not fair. And he makes way too much of it. I make way too much of it. You make way too little of it. I, I mean, it's like I can't even ask you or, or hint about having sex without feeling like I'm going to be but shut down But it's all down the time, days, Brent. Days. It's all the time. What is wrong? What is wrong with wanting my wife? What am I supposed to do, Lauren? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, let's try something. When I ask you this question, I want you both to answer at the same time. On a count of three, just blurt it out. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, how would you rate your sex life? Do you understand the question? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. How do you rate your sex life? One, two, three. Eight. Two. Eight? Are you kidding me? With me? Okay, eight? you said two. Last month, it was twice in one week. Why are you counting? Oh, you're counting too, buddy. All right, hold on. This is exactly why I've been asking you now for two weeks to write down your individual expectations in the marriage. You both have unknown expectations that the other has absolutely no clue about. And when an unknown expectation goes unmet, it turns into disappointment. And then it morphs into resentment. You too need to be working on some middle ground. A middle ground that you both can feel good about. A little give here and there from both of you. Now let me ask you a question. 
Do you two resent each other over this? Right now, in fact. Yes, I do, absolutely. No. Well, that's interesting, Brent. Why not? I just want her to want me like she used to. We used to have so much passion. I mean, look at her. She's beautiful. I adore her. She still takes my breath away. You're thinking about sex right now, aren't you? No. Great! No. That's just great. Thanks a lot, Brent. You can walk home! Lauren! I'll call you a cab. My suggestion? Listen to her for a change. Okay? Okay. I should walk home in the rain. In your eyes, I am found. In your eyes, I am Breathe in, breathe out. Grow.